Hello folks, it's Nana JL54 Janet. Hi! And I'm just going to do a really quick um, video because I'm making some um, some Easter things for some friends. So um, I wanted to show you what I'm doing. So I have one done. This was pink. It was like a little um, kind of paper mache cup. And I painted it white and see the inside still pink. And I bought this stuff on a roll. And I'm making it um, for a, one of those big old Cadbury eggs or, is going to sit in there. So um, that's going to sit inside an Easter basket. So I'm going to make a couple of them and I started so I just thought that I would craft while I talk to you guys because I've been buying a lot of stuff but not working with a lot of stuff. So I'm in the Easter crunch to get everything done for all the grandbabies and my friend's grandma, 100 year old grandma that you guys saw her 100th birthday and stuff. Um, grandma is... I don't know if she'll be here for this Easter. She's at home with hospice. And um, so I told her not to worry because she always worries about the kids' Easter and Christmas and things, having homemade things. So I told her not to worry about it, that I would make things for her great grandbabies because we always made things together for my grandbabies and her great grandbabies. So um, some of these, these three items here are going to be for her great grandbabies. So um, I thought maybe you guys would like to watch while I do this. So um, I, this grass stuff is great for um, Easter projects. And, um, and you, you know, you see these things in the stores and they're expensive. So, um, you know, you can do this with paper cups. Just paint the paper cups and you can even crinkle tissue paper and put it on to give texture to the paper cup so it doesn't look like a paper cup anymore. Um, the great ideas to be able to, you know, I mean, there's all kinds of ideas out there to do this with. So I have a gap. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull some off of here. Just going to cut some off of here. And I got to cut. I just got to fill in the gaps. So let's see. Um, let me see this. We'll fill in a gap. And um, so let's see. I'm going to cut a little bit more of this off. Okay. Um, so I found a dress form today, guys. Uh, I've been searching. Uh, that's you know like that's the one thing on my list that I have not been able to find anywhere and um, my girlfriend called me today and she said well come over here <laughs> so um, I went over and to this place the antique mall that is by well not too far from my house in the next little town over and there lo and behold was a dress form a vintage dress form I mean it it was screaming. Actually, there were several dress forms. There were two vintage dress forms. Um, I got the one that really um, spoke to me. And it's my birthday. So I'm. that's my birthday present. That's all I need for my birthday. That's it. So, um, I, you know, it's like, who would have thought that I would... It's. I've, it's been years that I've been looking for one. So who would have thought that... It was meant to be so it was meant to be and I got it happy birthday to me and I want to make this announcement a couple of people asked me what I want for my birthday and what I want is for everyone to be happy I don't want I have everything I need in the crafty world I have everything uh, yeah, I have more than enough, so I want everyone to have a wonderful um, uh, month, and just, if you want to wish me happy birthday, that's great, but I don't want, and I mean it, I'm, and some, some people know who I'm talking to, so, and I mean that, so, love you guys, so anyway, that's what I did, and then I cut these little circles out of, and I backed it with that, and it's going to sit on this. And it's going to have this image on it. This is uh, this little free image is going to be here, and there's going to be a little bow here and there, and um, and so then I will come back and show you what that looks like. But I have one more to decorate, so I'll do that with you guys here. And um, oh, that's too wide. That's got to go. That's too wide. So we're going to pull some of that off. How do we do that? Let's see. 
I'm gonna pull some of it apart. That's the neat thing because I don't know what they do to get this not glued together. This is natural stuff. So what I think is, oh, I dropped some. Um, I think they lay down this kind of a brown mesh um, thing and then they grow this stuff on it is what I think anyway. That's my story on sticking to it. I gotta thin that out. It's not, it's too wide. It needs to be a little narrower. Okay. All right, that's better. Okay, so here we go in the purple one. And I have, um, I bought some wood crosses, so I'm debating on whether to put the images on the wood crosses. I don't think that would look right, so I'm like thinking not. Uh-oh, I did it backwards. Well, that's not cool. All right, I'm gonna cut it off there. And I gotta turn it around. You gotta make sure that you turn it to the right side because there's one side that looks better than the other. So. Okay. This side looks better, all right. And I bought some raffia to put inside as Easter grass because I don't like the the funny Easter grass. I'm not all about the fake Easter grass. So, mm -hmm. ow! Did I? Oh, and I have to tell you that the, these glue sticks that I got from the warehouse, they're the best glue sticks I've ever used in my life. They are. Um, they they like you can you can use them for glass and metal. Um, it's, it, you know how when you usually glue something with a hot glue gun on metal or glass, it cools off, like, and the stuff slides off or slips off? This stuff is gooey, and it, it sticks, and it stays. So, um, I don't know, it didn't have any kind of a specific, it was just a bag of glue sticks, a big bag of glue sticks, so it didn't have what it was made out of, or... But, you know, it was at a florist supply, so I imagine they ha that glue has to go on all service surfaces. So if you have a florist supply that sells glue sticks, um, I would suggest you buy those glue sticks instead of the others. And one more. Let's see. A little more, a little more. I have to uh, cut it narrower. Okay, that's going to go there, and so that's that, eight minutes, and just enough time to be done, I think. Voila, so I have that, and um, I'll show you guys when I'm done. Thanks for playing with me, goodbye.